Welcome back everybody. In this video, we are going to be installing SignalR. But first, you're going to need to download Visual Studio. This is the IDE that we're going to be using to write all of our code. Now, you can just go to visualstudio.com and then download Community, which is a free version that I'll be using. And if you have a future version, the chances are most of the stuff's gonna be pretty similar. So once you got that, you can just open it and it'll look something like this. Over here on the left, you can click New Project and select ASP.NET Web Application and give it some super creative name. Now this Create Directory for a Solution will put all of your stuff in one folder and I always check that to keep things organized. Once you got that done, you can select MVC under ASP.NET 4.5.2 Templates. That is what we will be using and yeah. Alright, so it's loaded. It'll look something like this. And now what I want to do is just teach you a couple things that you can put in the back of your mind so you can use it throughout this course because it's going to make your life a whole lot easier. The very first thing is this quick launch up here in this corner. In here you can type whatever you want and Visual Studio will just help you out. So let's say you screw everything up and you X out of some stuff and you don't know how to get it back. Well now you can just go up here and search reset and it'll say window reset window layout. Click yes. And boom, there you go. Next, the Solution Explorer. This is where all of our content is. You can see we have our project here. And above that, we have our solution. The solution is basically a container that can store multiple projects. But we only have one here, so yeah. Now within here, you can see this references. This is basically everything our project depends on. And if you look through here, you're probably wondering, where is SignalR? I don't see it in there. Well, that's what we're going to be doing in this video because SignalR is not installed by default. So to do that, you can go up to this quick launch and you can search console. And this will bring up the package manager console. Now this is where we can install SignalR. So to do that, what you need to type in is install hyphen package microsoft.aspnet.signalr. And I just want to show you over here in the Solution Explorer. I'm going to pin it, click on this little button. When I press enter on here, it just added some new SignalR stuff over here. So now we actually have our package installed and now we just need to do some configuration. So we need to tell our project that we want to use SignalR. Now to do that, you go to the startup.cs file. And if you're a beginner, you probably don't know much about middleware. And I'll be talking about it all in, in a future video, but it has to do with this Owen thing up here at the top. We're basically just saying, hey, we want to use SignalR. So to do this, all you got to do is type app.map, and you can see we get some options. This little pop-up is known as IntelliSense. And it's going to tell us what we could use in this situation. Now the one we want to use is this map signal R right here. And then just put an open and close parentheses. Now it's basically configured. That's all we got to do for that. So we can just X out of that file. And we can actually X out of all these files. We don't need any of them. But there's a couple scripts we're going to have to add to our project. To do that, you're going to want to go to this views folder and open it up. And in here there's a shared folder. Open that up. And in there, there's a layout, an underscore layout.cshtml file. This is known as a razor file, which is going to combine C sharp and HTML. This is basically our layout for our website. It's going to have our menus and our footer and all of that good stuff. Well, if you scroll down to the bottom here, you can see this rendering section, the scripts.render. Well, this is a concept known as bundling. Bundling is where we basically put a bunch of files and send them down to the client in one request rather than make, having to make the client make multiple requests. Now we're going to add a couple scripts in here. So to do that, you just put script and you can close it and you can see Visual Studio will automatically put the closing tag. So that's awesome. Now within the first one, just put source equals tilde and a little squiggly. And then you're going to want to put um, scripts and then click jQuery.signalR slash hyphen 2.2.0. And there's two options here. You can use either one, but 
The min one is the smaller file size, so it takes up less when you send it to the client. So that's what I always use. And we're going to need one more script in here, so we can just go to the new line and type out script source equals tilde slash signal r slash js. Now you might have noticed that when we typed that out, nothing popped up for us to click. That's because this script doesn't actually exist right now. There's no signal R folder. This script is going to be generated for us. So that's part of the magic of signal R. So now that you have your scripts configured, you are ready to create your first hub. And we will be doing that in the next video. Thanks guys. See you then.